everybody and welcome back to Reading Time with Miss Nunn. Now today is a very special day, isn't it boys and girls? Because today is World Book Day. Woohoo! That means everyone around the world, all across the schools, in our country, in countries everywhere, they are celebrating World Book Day, which is when you can look at your favourite books and you can dress up as crazy characters. And in my school, we're decorating a potato into one of our favourite characters. Very strange, I know, was not my idea idea. Now today I have brought you outside into my garden but I've brought a very comfy armchair with me today I know because boys and girls where can reading take you? Yes reading a book can take you anywhere. The adventures that you can go on in a story you can go anywhere can't you? You can go to space, you can go to the moon, you can go to to Egypt, to Africa, you can go anywhere that you want to in a story, which is why we love reading stories. They take you on adventures. So today I'm going to take you on an adventure. And because it's World Book Day, I've chosen to read a story today about someone's favourite book. This one's called Charlie Cook's Favourite Book. I wonder what is your favourite book. It's World Book Day, boys and girls, so go and get it and read it today. Enjoy the books that you enjoy reading the most. So this is written by Julia Donaldson, one of our favourite authors. She, re she writes fantastic books. And this one's called Charlie Cook's Favourite Book. He's got a very similar armchair, just like me. I wonder where his story is going to take him on his adventure today. Are you all sitting comfortably in whatever, wherever you are, in a comfy chair or in your bed? Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair to read his favourite book. There he is. I wonder where your favourite place to read a book is. Is it in a cosy chair like Charlie Cook? Or is it in your bed? Is it under the table? About a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book. Ooh. What would you do if you found a treasure chest and in it was a book? You probably weren't expecting a book, were you, inside a treasure chest? I wonder where it's going to take him. Ooh. It's a book about a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant berries who cried... Who's heard our porridge? Who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed. And what is more, she's got my favourite book. Oh, Baby Bear. Clearly Baby Bear needs to learn to share. I hope you're sharing your favourite books with others. I'm sharing my favourite books with you. About Sir Percy Pinkington, Pilkington, there we are, Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight who told the dragon, Wait, I'm not quite ready for a fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook as he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. Ho ho, hee hee. I wonder what the joke was. Do you know lots of jokes? I don't really like jokes. I don't find them very funny. About Regina Redalot, a very well-read frog who jumped upon a lily, lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped inside the library which stood beside the brook and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. She wants to read. Do you like reading? I hope you do too. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest, and they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. You can imagine where this story is going to go. We're going to meet all sorts of characters, and it's all going to have something to do with their favourite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, what I've just seen. But Mum said, Hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. Oh, so she wasn't reading a book this time, she was reading a magazine. 
Maybe you don't like reading books. Maybe you prefer to read a magazine or a newspaper. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown and then got stuck behind some sheep which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favourite book. I wonder what favourite book he likes to read. Maybe his is an instruction book about how he can steal uh, jewels, maybe. Oh no, it's going to tell us. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try and find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier whilst reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. What do you think he's reading in his encyclopedia? It's a long word, that one. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. <laughs> Which one of these books is your favourite so far? Would you like to go to space? Would you like to read about the crocodile or the pirate? Or about the queen and her beautiful cake? So the person in space on Jupiter is reading this story. About a ghost who guided around a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning when she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. Oh, a creepy, scary story. Do you like reading creepy, scary stories? I don't. They make me scared. Ah, she was reading about a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. Oh, it came full circle. Look, there's our character from the beginning. Reading his favourite story. And there they all are, all the amazing characters from the stories. So books, boys and girls, can take you anywhere. They can take you all around the world, wherever your heart desires. So why don't you today, whilst we are celebrating World Book Day, find your favourite story, find a friend to read it with, read it with mum or dad or brothers or sisters or even the pets. Find a pet who wants to read a story with you. And if they don't want to read it with you, then read it on your own. But enjoy books today, boys and girls, because they're there to take you on an adventure. Go and explore the world through books today. Have a lovely rest of your World Book Day and I'll see you tomorrow for more reading time with Miss Nun. Bye now!